Good morning, this is Charlie with Only PVC Pyramids. This is one of the continuing series of videos that we're doing on the Russian geometry pyramid research. Today's uh, discussion topic is applications of Russian geometry pyramid technology to current societal issues. Now, Dr. Golod, in our previous videos, we've, we've discussed, uh, has been able and has produced uh, in documented form uh, the results of a number of uh, studies uh, on various uh, topics which we've been discussing. Uh, but on the uh, pyramids.ru website, there's a list from Dr. Golod of current topics that are being researched in Russia for which uh, at least published research in the West is not available. But um, I wanted to go over this with you because uh, these topics are relevant to us. We're going to discuss uh, how these um, uh, existing research results that we've talked about in the past uh, may apply in these cases. But before we begin, I wanted to, to read a quote from Dr. Golod. I, I haven't done that before for you folks. And, and this is sort of the best summary statement that I have found from Dr. Golod as to, as to how he thinks, uh, his worldview of how uh, Russian geometry pyramids actually work. So to quote Dr. Golod, the effect of the pyramid form is the ability to change the structure of the surrounding space. Using the pyramid as a tool, we are able to change the measure of harmony of this space and thereby change all the connections, all events, and their consequences occurring in this space. That is, all connections, all events, their consequences in such a space will strive for the most harmonious manifestation in time. Pyramids with harmonious geometric proportions, for example, corresponding to the golden section, or phi, are capable of forming a structure of space with a higher measure of harmony. So key takeaways, as you can see, harmony. I have uh, been talking about this in my own experience. Uh, I'm at a much uh, greater sense of peace at this point in my life, having that pyramid energy around me and meditating under it. Uh, but the most other big takeaway is the golden section. Now, Dr. Golod has, has not, to my knowledge, ever publicly demonstrated his golden geometry, but as those of you who are watching our uh, videos know, I believe we've divined uh, the golden geometry and phi relationship, and it's a profound one. So his two conditions are clearly met here, and I want to discuss those concepts, particularly that of harmony, in the context of the list of societal issues that uh, he's trying to tackle in Russia. So let's go over that list now. Physiological and psychological dependence, including drug addiction and alcoholism. Now, I guess I, I grew up in a, or, or attended, I should say, a, a metaphysical church uh, for quite a few years. And so I'm firmly grounded in the idea that uh, we become what we uh, think we are and what we believe. And from an energetic standpoint, uh, such things as uh, being overweight, uh, according to the concepts of mental equivalence, uh, you're trying to protect yourself from something. And uh, you can go on and on, but uh, addictions, they can be addictions to alcohol or drugs or food or television or your cell phone or shopping. Uh, they are anything, in my view, that attempts to get you back into, it gives you a feeling, if only temporarily, of being back in harmony with uh, your creator. It, it, it helps to block away what I call or think are unharmonious uh, frequencies and vibrations, uh, which are counterproductive in your life. So my feeling, and I've dealt with some of these topics, uh, I, I've lost a lot of weight. Uh, I used to drink, uh, don't drink anymore. Uh, there's a tons of things that I've had in my personal life that would tell me that people who are counseling in this area, they want to give some serious thought to uh, 
to looking at uh, pyramids in the context of dependency issues. Um, and again, we can talk about this in the context of uh, giving someone a pyramid, putting, uh, giving a pyramid water. I think structured water might work just as well, don't know, but uh, we are big drinkers of structured water as well. Uh, or uh, eating foods, as we say, any sort of contact um, uh, with these pyramid energies seems to have that positive impact. Going back once again to the study that we talked about with the prisoners, uh, where 5,000 prisoners, uh, once they were in, in uh, contact with salt in their diets that had been stored under the pyramid, had dramatic improvements in their behavioral issues. So clearly some, some things here that could be uh, researched, and I think the, you know professionals in these fields uh, should give this some serious consideration. Communicable diseases. There is some information on Dr. Golod's website about the dramatic drop in communicable diseases where they put uh, pyramids up, such as um, uh, in the Moscow area, uh, been a huge drop in uh, influenza, pneumonia, uh, any and all types of, of communicable diseases. They've seen um, increases although there has not been any studies uh, that have been published on this uh, to date, but clearly an area uh, for research here in the United States. Energy security of the state. We talked about this previously. Uh, research in Russia has shown that um, we could um, be looking at some of our older oil fields, possibly uh, making them uh, productive once again. Uh, through the placement of pyramids to, that reduce the viscosity of the oil and make it more economical to pump out of the ground. Uh, we're also uh, reading about the research of uh, spontane or spontaneous uh, charging of capacitors at the tip of uh, top of, of larger pyramids in Russia. So there's lots of uh, potential for research in the energy sector uh, when it comes to pyramids. Natural disasters, um, uh, including man-made, uh, they're mentioning here climate weapons, earthquakes, tsunamis, hurricanes, tornadoes. We've already seen that uh, placing these uh, in Russia has diminished the chance of severe earthquakes and has allowed the earth to uh, let these uh, tensions go uh, in numerous smaller earthquakes that have no damage on the surface as opposed to uh, building up and causing a, a severe earthquake. And we've also seen that uh, uh, these uh, larger pyramids in Russia have helped to mitigate severe storm activity. So another area that's fruitful for uh, study uh, is the area of natural disasters. Protecting the biosphere from all sorts of pathogenic radiation. Uh, I have done a lot of work with EMFs and uh, was at one point considering making a remediation business, uh, but I've come to the conclusion that with 5G and, and, and the, just the overwhelming uh, saturation that we have with these waves, uh, there's only one way to deal with that, and that's to get a harmonious environment energetically uh, into our environments. And pyramids are clearly a good way of doing that. Uh, I would also suggest for those of you interested in, in this topic in greater detail, that you go to a website called biogeometry.com. I've mentioned this before. Dr. Ibrahim Karim uh, started by studying the, uh, the uh, energetic implications of pyramids, uh, but has now turned this study into a complete new field of research, which he calls biogeometry. If you go to biogeometry.com, you'll find on the very first page, as a matter of fact, uh, a discussion of a town that he remediated publicly uh, for EMFs in Switzerland. So fascinating research here. Pyramids can be used for this. Uh, other objects can as well, but uh, we've seen the dramatic impact that large pyramids can have. Uh, so we know that this is an area for fertile future research. Uh, and then finally, uh, the remediation of nuclear, bacteriological, and chemical wastes. Uh, we've discussed again the fact that uh, uh, water, uh, which has had radioactive materials and other contaminants in it, uh, has been remediated. Air pollution has been uh, 
and, and deaths uh, due to uh, the toxic nature of air pollution have all been uh, uh, decreased uh, in Russian research. So again, clearly uh, evidence here that these are areas that we should be looking at to take care of uh, some of our really traumatic uh, uh, societal issues that we're experiencing today. So lots of research potential in all of these areas, lots of fertile existing research that leads us to believe that uh, research into these areas with pyramids would be very valuable for mankind. I uh, hope this has been helpful. As always, uh, please feel free to uh, tell your friends about us, our uh, YouTube page, Only PVC Pyramids, our website, onlypvcpyramids.com. As always, we thank you for watching and have a great day.